Welcome to this RNAV approach tutorial for the PMDG 737 in MSFS. This tutorial assumes a basic level of knowledge of the 737 and its systems, so if you are unfamiliar with the aircraft, please watch my full flight tutorial first. If you're wondering what an RNAV approach is, it's very similar to an ILS approach, except the calculations are performed by the aircraft's onboard computers instead of equipment at the airport. Let's set the plane up and go fly. Our flight today is from Southampton to Jersey, both in the UK. In departures arrivals, for our departure from Southampton we'll select runway 20 which we're currently on and our arrival at Jersey will be the RNAV approach for runway 08. We'll also select a start and a transition and with that done we can activate the route. Because there is no SID or transition for our departure from Southampton we have a discontinuity at the start of our flight plan, which I've replaced with our first waypoint. There's also an additional discontinuity between the transition and the start of our star, so I'll remove that. And to give us a nice easy left turn towards our approach, we'll enter the star at the Gipta waypoint, and we can now verify our route by stepping through it on the ND. I've left these steps in in case you want to follow along but none of the changes we've made are specific to the fact we're using an RNAV approach. There are RNAV approaches where you transition seamlessly to the runway, just as there are ILS approaches where you have to make a ton of en-route customizations. We also fill out our perf page, cruising at 16,000 feet today. We also configure takeoff flaps and commit our V-speeds. With the aircraft configured for takeoff, that is takeoff flaps set, cruising altitude set in the MCP, flight directors on, VNAV mode selected, Auto brake set to rejected takeoff and spoilers not armed, we move the throttles fully forward and begin our takeoff roll. Climb out procedure is the same as any other flight in the PMDG 737. Please see the full flight tutorial if you need more details on this. Once we reach our top of climb, we check the altitude at our final approach fix, which is 2000 feet with a 3 degree glide slope to the runway, and we dial in the altitude to the MCP ready for our top of descent. We also populate our approach config in the approach ref page. As normal in the 737, at top of descent the aircraft will idle the throttles and begin its descent. And as we get close to the airport the plane will begin its deceleration process and we will apply flaps until we're at takeoff config. The 737 is pretty slippery, so on this specific route, depending on fuel load and weather, you may have to hold during your descent and apply spoilers to reduce vertical deviation before your final approach fix. Once the deviation decreases, you can exit the hold. You may have to go direct to your next waypoint in the legs page of the FMC, and you can also return the spoilers to the arm position. As you get near to your final approach fix, activate approach mode on the MCP. You'll see enunciators appear on the PFD for final approach course and glide path. Once you reach your final approach fix, the aircraft will switch into approach mode, just as it would when following an ILS, and you will see it follow the lateral and vertical deviation diamonds on the PFD. The plane will follow its approach course and glide path down to minimums, but there is no auto land capability on an RNAV approach. I disengage the autopilot and auto throttle at 400 feet and fly the approach manually. Idle the throttles and flare for a Ryanair landing and apply reverses once you hit the tarmac. Auto brake will bring you to a stop. Remember you need to steer along the center line using rudder as there's no rollout mode after a manual landing. And that concludes our successful RNAV approach in the PMDG 737. Thank you for watching, I hope this video gives you the confidence to attempt this for yourself. If you did find this useful, please drop a like and feel free to subscribe as I make this kind of content fairly regularly. Take care and I'll see you next time.